today's session, we are going to tackle about illustrating the combination of objects. First, we are going to define combination. And the second one, we are going to evaluate combinations using the formula. Let us define combination. When you say combination, it is a selection of items from a collection such that the order of the selection does not matter. Meaning, the arrangement here is not significant. Unlike permutation, the arrangement is significant. Kailangan mong bilangin lahat ng arrangement na po pwede. But in combination, um, hindi mo siya kailangan pang maulit. Hindi importante ang arrangement. Is it clear? For example, consider the letters C, A, R and take two letters at a time without repetition of letters. We have two situations here. The first one, if order is significant, and letter B, if ordered, is not significant. When you say letter A, if order is significant, therefore, lahat ng arrangement mo, kailangan mo ilagay. Okay? Doon sa letter B naman, if ordered is not significant, dito, hindi na kailangan maulit pa yung objects na nakapaloob doon sa mga arrangement mo. So, paano yun? Let us have the first one. Kung lahat ng arrangement mo doon sa letter A ay ilalagay mo, that is what you call permutation. Ayan. For example, what are the two letters that we can take to the le to the letter C, A, and R? Let us take it. We have C, A, pwede ring A, C. Next, we have A, R, and then we have R, A. Next, we have C, R, and then we have R, C. So, we have six ways. Ayan. We have six ways to arrange the uh, two letters. Of the word, uh, at the letter C, A, N, R. So, six ways ang pwede nating makuha dyan. Kapag ang order mo is significant, lahat ng arrangement ilalagay mo. What if the order is not significant? Ito yung tinutukoy mo na combination. Combination. Order is not significant, therefore, hindi na niya kailangan pang maulit pa. For example, we have here, Si C, A, and A, C. Okay. So, these are two arrangements. Pero may pinagkaiba ba sila? Wala. Ang pinagkaiba niya lang ay pwesto. Naintindihan? So, therefore, yung isa po pwede nang hindi nag -e exist Sino na lang ang, ang ilagay mo dyan? Si C, A na lang. Si C, A na lang o kaya C, A, C. Naintindihan? Next tayo. Another combination. We have A, R, and R, A. Ang mapapansin nyo, Sa arrangement, importante siya, which is in the permutation. So, count sila na 2 siya. Pero, kung, ma uh, kung mapapansin nyo, si A at R at R A, wala namang pinagkaiba. Ang pinagkaiba niya lang is arrangement, which is not important with combination. Naintindihan? So, we can have this one. Ang isa, na, ang isa pang combination dito ay si A at saka si R. Naintindihan? Or pwede mo ring isulat dyan si R at si A. Pero isang beses lang. Okay? Next tayo, we have C, R, and R, C. C, R, and R, C, wala rin pinagkaiba. Nagkapalit lang din sila ng pwesto, which is important sa permutation, which is not important with combination. Did you get it? So, that is it. So, therefore, ang isa pang combination na pwedeng two letters, we have C, N, R. O kaya, R, C. So, ang combination, if order is not significant, ang, ang ating sagot is three ways here. While in permutation, which is arrangement is important, kahit magkabaliktad siya, ay you need to count it. Ang sagot, uh, we have here six ways. So, that is the difference between permutations and combinations. Again, Permutations, arrangement is important, i-include mo kahit magkabaliktad siya ng arrangement. Pero kay combination, arrangement is not important. Pag meron ka nakitang arrangement na nagkabaliktad lang, you will count it as one. Is it clear? So, let's have more examples of combination. Let us consider the situation. Given three donuts, say chocolate, strawberry, and milky. 
How many combinations of two flavors can be chosen from the set? So, let us have this one. So, we have two flavors lang yung ating kukuhanin. So, for example, we have, ang kukuhanin mo ay si chocolate, chocolate and strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. And then, we have strawberry, strawberry and milky. Pwede yan. Or, pwede rin naman si um, chocolate and milky. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, we have two, uh, three. One, two, three. Three combinations that we can have. So, that is the answer. Okay? Three combinations of flavors. Bakit three combinations of flavors lang? Kasi, pag pinili mo naman si strawberry and chocolate, wala namang pinagkaiba yun kay chocolate and strawberry. Diba? Kung pinili mo ay si milky and strawberry, wala naman siya pinagkaiba kay strawberry and milky. Which is parehas lang. Okay? So, that is combination. So, arrangement is not important unlike permutation. Pero kung permutation ang kinukuha dito, ang tinatanong dyan in how many ways can you choose two flavors in the given set? Naintindihan? In how many ways you can choose? Okay? So, kung ganun ang tanong niya, in how many ways, ang gagamitin mo doon is permutation. Is it clear? So, that is the difference between permutations and combination. Now, let's move with the formula of combination. The combination of n objects taken R at a time is given by CNR or you may write is as NCR. It is equal to n factorial divided by R factorial times n minus R factorial where n is the total number of the given given objects, and R is the number of elements that you are going to choose. So, ito yung pinaka formula ng ating combination on how to find the combination of an objects. Let's have example number one. We have a given here of 5C3. So, from the five objects, we are going to take three only. Okay? So, we are going to choose three. So, ito, pwede natin itong isulat as C, then 5, 3. So, this is your N, this is your R. Then, let us have your formula, which is equal to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial equals to, what is your N? Your N here is 5 factorial. Over your R factorial, we have We have 3 factorial times ang n natin, we have 5 minus 3 factorial. Then, simplify, we have here 5 factorial over 3 factorial, then 5 minus 3, the answer is 2 factorial. And then, simplify further, we have 5 factorial means 5 times 4, then times 3 factorial, stop ka na dyan para makancel out, you save 3 factorial. Just copy 3 factorial and then 2 factorial meaning 2 times 1. Then cancel out 3 factorial and 3 factorial. Then 4 and 2 are divisible by 2. So si 2 ay makakancel out na, magiging na lang siyang 1. Then 4 becomes 2. Kasi 4 divided by 2. Then multiply 5 times 2, the answer here is 10. So... 10 lang po ang kanyang magiging combination if you are going to choose 3. Is it clear? Example number 2, we have C8, 4. So, meaning, we have a given of 8 objects taken 4. Okay? So, your 8 here is N, then your 4 is your R. Kung mapapansin nyo, laging mas malaki ang N mo kaysa kay R mo. Tatandaan yan. Pwede, uh, kailangan lagi siyang mas malaki or equal lang kay R. Hindi po pwedeng maging mas malaki si R. Kasi yun yung tinitake mo. So, N must be greater than or equal into R. 
Is it clear? Now, let us have your formula. We have n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. Then, let us substitute your n and r. Your n, we have here 8 factorial over your r is, we have 4 factorial times n minus r factorial. We have 8 minus 4 factorial. So, it is equal to 8 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Yan. Then, let us simplify further. It is equal to, we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. Then, si isang 4 factorial, expand mo. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ayan. Bakit yung isa, in-expand ko yung isa, tinigil ko na? Kasi yung isa, pwede ko na mag-cancel out dito. 4 factorial at saka 4 factorial. Ayan. Then, expand mo si 4 factorial, which is 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then, pwede na tayo mag-cancellation din. Then, we have 8 and 4. They are divisible by 4. So, cancelled out si 4 dito. Si 8 magiging ng 2. 8 divided by 4, we have 2. Next tayo. 6 and 3, pwede rin. Cancelled out si 3. Si 6 ay magiging ng 2. Ayan. Next tayo. Si 2 and 2 dito, pwede yan. Cancelled out si 2 dito, cancelled out si 2 doon. Ayan. So, not, 1 na lang yung natira dyan as your denominator. So, no need to compute na yan. Ito na lang yung i-co-compute mo, yung natira. Si 2, si 7, and then si 5. So, you have here 2 times 7 multiplied by 5. So, the answer here is 14 times 5. The answer is 70 ways. Ayan, 70. 70 combinations ang makukuha mo kay 8 objects ang itetake mo ay 4, 70 ways. Is it clear? Let's have another example. Number 3. We have 5C1 or combination of 5 objects taken 1 at a time. So, we have your N, we have 5, and then your R is 1. Let us have your formula. N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. So, it is equal to N factorial, we have 5 factorial over 1 factorial times 5 minus 1 factorial. So, it is equal to 5 factorial over 1 factorial times 4 factorial. Ayan na yan. Then, si 1 factorial, pwedeng wala na yan. Kasi 1 lang naman na siya. So, we have now 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. Cancelled out, cancelled out. The answer is 5. Ayan na yung sagot mo. So, syempre, kung titingnan mo naman talaga, meron ka limang object, pipili ka ng tigi-tigi isa, so lima pa rin ang lalabas without any um, importance of the arrangement. Is it clear? Now, let us have um, mul um, combinations, multiply ba din natin sa given combinations. Therefore, we have combination of objects of 3 taken 2 multiplied by the combination of 5 of objects taken 3. Let us have this one. So, dalawang beses kang mag magkakaroon ng formula. So, dito, we have here your N. This one is your N and this one is your R. N and then R. So, dito muna tayo kay combination of 3 taken 2. So, we have here 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial. O, oh, ito yung formula, ha? N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. O, oh, yan yan, ha? Diyan siya nang galing. Then, multiply mo siya by, we have 5 factorial, ito naman. Over your, your R here, we have here 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. Then, simplify. Dito tayo. It is equal to 
3 factorial over 2 factorial, then 3 minus 2, 1 factorial. Then, multiply by, this one is 5 factorial over 3 factorial, then 5 minus 3, we have 2 factorial. Simplify further. We have 3 factorial over, so two, 1 factorial, tanggal mo na yan. So, 3, so, sorry, we have 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. Multiplied by, dito tayo, 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over, we have here, 3 factorial, then 2 times 1. In-expand ko si 2 factorial. So, cancelled out na tayo. 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Cancelled mo na si 3 factorial dito, 3 factorial. Wala na si 1. Pwede na yan. Then, si 4 and 2 divisible. So, cancelled out na si 2. Si 4 ay magiging na siyang 2. Then, ang natira na lang ay 3. Ito. This one. Multiplied by 5. Multiplied by 2. So, just multiply. Find the prod product. 3 times 5, we have 15. 15 times 2, so the answer is 30. Uh, ganun lang po kasimple kapag kayo yung magsusolve ng combination. So, formula lang po tayo. Ito lang lagi niyang tatandaan. N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Let's have the um, techniques in calculator. Oh, use the calculator for checking purposes only, ha? So, yung ibang yung teacher, ang ginagawa nila, kailangan pa rin, you need to show their, your solution. So, ito, techniques po ito sa calculator para ma-check nyo kung tama ba o mali ang inyo sagot. So, in using calculator, guys, para rin siya no sa permutation, yun nga lang, iba lang yung pipindutin nyo. So, nakita nyo yung nasa taas ng division, ayan, NCR. So, yan yung gagamitin natin para naman makompute mo yung um, combination of 10 objects taken 6 at a time. So, we have here NCR. So, what you're going to do, just have, uh, pindutin nyo lang si 10, then shift, then divide. Ayan. So, lalabas yung letter C. Then, 6 na. So, meaning yan, yan ay 10 C 6. O, ganun lang po. Then, equals lang po. So, the answer here is 210. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag naman sa calculator. E, paano kung may multiplication? For example, we have C4, 3, multiplied by C5, 2. Ayan. Paano pag may multiplication? So, kailangan laging may open and close parenthesis kayo, guys. So, open parenthesis, then right here 4, then shift, then dito. Then, 3. Ayan, 4C3. Then, multiply, uh, close mo yan, then times mo. Open ulit, we have here 5, then shift mo ulit, then NCR doon, then 2. Then, close parenthesis mo. Then, equal mo lang. So, ang sagot dyan is 40. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag ikaw ay gagamit ng calculator. So, again, for this is for checking purposes only. So, dahil tayo ay lagi nire-require ni teacher na merong solution. So, para ma-check mo kung tama yung sagot mo, so, gamit ka ng calculator. Okay? So, thank you very much for listening. So, yung susunod ko pong video, um, ikukumpara natin kung si, si permutation at saka si combination ng mga problems. And then, problem solving about combination. So, sana panoorin nyo po yung aking susunod na video pa. Salamat!